Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, well as you can see I've just opened one of the uh, Christmas crates or Santa crates. I, <laughs> I still can't remember the exact name of these crates. Um, and I've got myself another free ship. Now I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is of course the Prince Friedrich. Uh, but this is a tier 5 German battleship, a premium battleship of course. And it's one I've uh, come close to buying many times. Um, those of you that watch my channel and know I love tier 4 and tier 5. Um, I just think they're, those tiers are so much fun and such a massive variety of ships you can come up against. Um, I just love those two uh, yeah, two tiers that, uh, yeah, super excited uh, about getting this ship for free. I actually can't believe it. I, I just... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, I've just hopped on and opened it and uh, thought we'd uh, have a first look at it. I, I th think I have looked at it before on a couple of occasions. Um, but we're going to have a, a bit more of a detailed look at it. And uh, we're also going to have a first play, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I'm uh, excited to grab this ship. Number one, of course, it's a, it's a German battleship. <laughs> or I guess technically it's a battle cruiser, I believe. Uh, second of all, it's a premium ship. Always love having uh, premium ships. Uh, but uh, yeah, really happy to add it to my tier five uh, roster. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's just great to add this ship into my docks. So okay, so uh, let's have a look at her. Okay, so I've just added the ship uh, into my favourites here. Um, God, she is a beautiful looking ship. Now, obviously at tier five, I have uh, at tier five, I have Bayern, and I love Bayern. I think she's uh, it's one of the battleships I definitely recommend for anyone in the game. Uh, she's just uh, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Um, and as you can see, I use Otto Ciliax. Uh, now, I believe I'll probably chuck him on uh, as well for now um, but as you can see I also use France on Hippo as like a, a build more attuned to the secondary batteries which of course Bismarck is, is uh, very well renowned <laughs> but we'll have a look at a little bit more detail I may switch uh, switch commanders but uh, I do like Otto as my sort of standard German uh, battleship commander. Um, he's a bit more geared towards um, armor piercing rounds and uh, accuracy, I believe. And I think he'll suit this ship pretty well. Uh, but first off, let's have a look. Let's hide the uh, UI and have a good look at this ship because I think it's one of the most beautiful ships in the game. Wow, that uh, front on angle is just beautiful. Gosh, she, she is a gorgeous looking ship. And the detail on her is just amazing. Now I'm not sure about the railings on this ship, whether they uh, can pop up and pop down. Maybe they were a permanent fixture, I'm not too sure. But uh, um, a lot of times ships' railings could be uh, popped up and down, of course, depending on uh, what was happening. So perhaps they were a permanent fixture. Now I believe she was actually a, well, not fictional ship. I believe she they started actually building her, but uh, they never got around to uh, completion. Now she actually has quite a good, okay, segment done, beautiful. I'm getting there with the with the bureau. Now she does look like she has quite a fair uh, secondary battery there. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, hmm. Okay, well, perhaps we'll have a look at their range, but uh, anyway, I, l I like the uh, layout of her. She has the uh, two fore and two aft turrets with twin mounts. Um, I just love that classic design. Uh, her funnels look really gorgeous. I just love the layout of this ship. She is just so beautiful. Just, uh, oh, what a piece of, piece of art. <clears throat> okay. Excuse my drooling <laughs> for a moment there. So she has the usual couple of upgrades. Now I'm not going to muck around with those at the moment because I really want to get this ship right. But uh, I could go the secondary build. Uh, and of course the main battery build could be good. But I never really like this one too much. All it does is really uh, 
the reload time it adds to and it's just the traverse speed it helps uh, unless you're like in a real brawler um, I find it's pretty pointless and even this first one it's a it's um, it's a good all-round choice uh, torpedo launches of course I don't believe she even has so uh, but it could be a good choice and then uh, more than likely steering gears mod but uh, this could be a good one for the uh, damage control mod okay so let's have a look at a little bit of the details about the Friedrich she's fast she's above average maximum movement speed uh, above average secondary battery range now this is tier 5 remember so um, that sounds pretty good to me she might be like a, a bit of a mini uh, Bismarck higher caliber AP shells may overpen the armor but may still arm depending on shell velocity now I'm pretty sure Bismarck would have pretty much those same uh, same pros and cons um, anyway so PE Friedrich a Mackinson class battlecruiser laid down during World War One she had powerful vertical armor which was a char characteristic of German battleships of this period her main battery consisted of eight 350 millimeter guns now those are some decent guns uh, mounted in four turrets entered service in 1914 ships in the series four okay well that's made me more excited uh, than anything nice well, looks like she's got a, a pretty good armor profile um, <laughs> I just can't believe I'm this lucky to actually get this ship okay let's have a look at the stats here so hit points 52,000 bit over not too bad armor 6 to 320 millimeters nice torpedo damage reduction at 27 percent that's pretty decent that's pretty decent um, I wouldn't mind checking out what the Bayonne has okay some pretty important uh, info here artillery so the main batteries are 4x2s 350 millimeters we know that good range 16.2 reload times 28 seconds which I think for this size guns probably isn't that bad um, 45 second 180 degree turn time though so that is a pretty slow turn time of the turrets now this is where it gets pretty nice here maximum HE shell damage 4000 and chance to set on fire 27 that's really good what I'm most excited about there is maximum AP shell damage 10,920 that's pretty damn good and again another exciting part secondary armament uh, firing range is 4.9 so we're basically at 5 Ks uh, for both lots of secondaries um, they're both HE firing guns <coughs> and they've got pretty decent reload times uh, one's 150, 105 millimeters. They're eight by twos, and then 14 by ones. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So, jeez, this is going to be a tough, pretty tough decision. I may go down the uh, brawling route, so I might change my commander over and really make those secondaries uh, closer to that sort of six-kilometer range. Uh, should be a pretty uh, scary ship to come up against. Maneuverability, maximum speed, uh, 28 knots. Uh, not too bad, I guess, uh, for for what she is. Turning circle radius of 800 meters. Okay, rudder shift time, not that bad. Uh, concealment doesn't isn't really a factor when you're in a ship like this, but 13.5 uh, is your detectability range by sea. Okay. So let's chuck on our early adopter flag and I'm uh, gonna chuck on a let's chuck on our really nice booster here now the rest of it don't really need to bother too much about uh, and she's pretty much good to go so I think in our first game we're just gonna play her au naturel and uh, hmm, and see what happens now I have a uh, ship victory bonus here now this must be a new thing at the moment for over the Christmas period uh, as all my ships seem to have that well pretty much all of them um, so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah okay so we've had a look at her we've had a look at the stats uh, I'm just I'm itching to have a game so 
let's jump in and play the first game in the Prince Friedrich. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I hope everyone's well and uh, enjoying the Christmas period at the moment, uh, catching up with your family. I hope everyone's safe and well. Uh, I've been uh, relaxing with friends today and uh, I'm just getting in a quick game now while uh, nobody's looking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, had a good family Christmas yesterday, so I'm having a pretty good time at the moment. But I just wanted to jump on and um, see what was going on. I've got myself the ship that I've wanted, so it's pretty cool. Now I'm going to uh, scoot over to the left-hand group there. I really want to give this ship a good test out. I'm not too worried about having a good game or not. Uh, that will definitely come with time, but uh, really excited about giving this ship a test out. Looks like we're up against tier fours and fives. Nice. Now she had a pretty good chance to uh, set a fire, so. I'm going to keep these HE rounds going for the moment. Let's test out that uh, <laughs> that theory. Uh, yeah, pretty excited about the, the amount of secondary she has. Uh, that's just out of our range. And the good thing is now, We can pop on to the option screen and uh, see all the information. So 16.7 detectability, okay. Firing range of the main battery, 16.7. Nice. So handy. All right, now. I doubt my guns are gonna get over that mountain range. Hmm. Hopefully these uh, two enemy battleships here turn and come to face us. I don't really want to try and come up the side of the islands here because I'll be copying so much enemy fire from this side. But looks like unfortunately... It's a bit out of my range as well. Well, she's a really beautiful ship. She does remind me a bit of Bismarck. Much smaller one, obviously. I uh, always love getting free ships, and I love the fact World of Warships is always um, giving us the chance to get some free ships every now and then with uh, campaigns, which uh, arguably aren't free. But uh, this ship I got in a, a free crate, which is awesome. Uh, I have recently got a, a few more premium ships as well. Uh, <laughs> so anyone that's been, uh, yeah, keeping an eye on my channel would have seen I've got uh, a lot of my videos recently have all been premium ships, actually. Unfortunately, it looks like we're uh, a bit out of position. Pretty smart to actually run away those <laughs> those battleships. It looks like we may get a shot off here. Let's have a look. This is a total guess. Call it an educated guess, but I don't think we'd get. Oh, there we go. Okay, scored one hit. Make that two. Did no damage though. Ah, here we go. Okay, we've got a, a victim here. Now the reload time actually doesn't seem too bad. But sh Queen Elizabeth there is going to be out of my firing arc for now. I don't know if we're actually going to get a 
Another shot on her. Pretty smart. Let's just follow him. Alright, Bayern's going to uh, come out in the open here. We're going to get some HE shots off, so... Ooh! Oh! Even better, let's go the uh, New Mexico. Now this will be good too, because we're going to take a bit of fire. Let's see what kind of um, armour protection she has. We've got a cruiser too, by the look of it. Again, sorry about my shooting here. I Getting to know the ship. Oh, there you go. Uh, not many hits later. I have a fire. Now, if that cruiser is going broadside to us, oh, she is. Going to do a switch to AP here. Let's just see if we can do something. Now, I definitely don't hate these guns so far. They could do with a bit of a accuracy bonus. So it looks like that fire we started is uh, staying started. I'm going to try and have a shot at this cruiser with our AP rounds. Now again, let's hope I can actually... What's she actually doing? Okay. She doesn't look like she's going very fast. So let's pop one in close. Nice. Yeah, not too bad. They still haven't set a fire on us. And they've been hit by quite a few uh, HE shells. Now Bayern's broadside. We're going to have a shot. Where is she? Oh, she's there. I am. <laughs> and she's reasonably fast. 7.7Ks. Hmm. Pretty happy with these hits. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of hits, but... Um, when they are hitting, they're doing a bit of damage. I'm going to go straight onto these guys and get some good deflection. And Bayern is going to uh, be a bit of a guinea pig here, so I'm going to get it a little bit closer. That's better. Pretty happy with that. Now my secondaries will be going off, I think. Yes, there we go. Nice. Very nice. Very happy. <laughs> so I think this ship may be a bit of a... Uh, bit of a good brawler. I'm just going to fire off. Oh, that's... That sucks. That sucks. When you're about to finish off someone you've absolutely pounded... I love the fact she's so hard to set on fire, seemingly, this ship. Whoop, she outsmarted me there, the cruiser. Yeah, set me on fire. I don't care. I've got a turn here. Okay. Oh. Just not working out for me. <laughs> Oh no! No! <laughs> well, we've got a bit of protection for the moment. I would love to get a nice uh, broadside salvo on her and uh, say good night. Someone's going to beat me to it, I bet. <laughs> uh, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky so far. Got a second battleship. Jeez, okay. We're in a pretty bad spot here. I think it. It's more than likely I may get uh, destroyed here if they decide to target me, but that's all good. I'd really love uh, Mexico to. a broadside angle here. But she's not. She's definitely going away. Now she would have just spotted me.
Hmm. Not bad. Oh, someone is going to beat me to it. Again. <laughs> uh, can I beat them to it? I doubt it. Oh, she's so close. So close. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I was pretending it just fired on me. Oh no, okay. I thought it was headed to fly on me. Maybe it was. She's pretty much at uh, full strength there. If I can get a hit. She seems to just be sitting there. Or is she reversing me? Uh, she's reversing. And hopefully our comrade uh, will be able to defend that base. Pretty typical German uh, shell spread at long range. Nothing to get excited about there. But uh, oh gosh, she is a beautiful looking ship. I'm I'm very happy with this ship. I must say already. Um, even though I haven't really got to got to do much in this game so far, but I think I may go down the brawling route and uh, upgrade these secondaries. Um, at tier five, uh, it should be pretty good just to be super aggressive in this ship and. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully I can bring you a, a really good video soon of one of her battles. It looks like uh, Britannia's coming to try and save her base. Oh, so the majority of her forces are capturing our base. So I think we may actually lose this one. Turn, turn, turn. That's it. Keep turning. I want to really try and get a good uh, broadside here before our time runs out. Oh, yes. Perfect. Now, 10Ks, I'm not sure if I allowed enough. Oh, yeah, maybe I did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow, there we go. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this first battle. That was pretty cool. Uh, very, very, very excited to add this ship to the lineup. Like I said, I've thought about adding this ship in <laughs> many times. Um, and uh, yeah, now to get it for free, uh, it's just uh, doubly as good. So yeah, very excited to add this ship to the roster. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I know, <laughs> sorry that it wasn't the greatest uh, I've had, but uh, yeah, it's just the... Uh, first time playing this ship getting a bit of a feel for it but um, I think I'm going to go down the secondary route with this uh, with this ship so what I'll do is put uh, Von Hipper um, as my commander and uh, choose those secondary um, additions well more than likely <laughs> we'll make a decision on that a little bit later but uh, look I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that um, and yeah, uh, hopefully I can get up those secondaries up to around the 6k mark, um, and then uh, yeah, do some real good aggressive uh, aggressive play, um, and uh, yeah, have some fun. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day um, or night, depending on where you are. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate um, everyone out there that gives my videos a watch and uh, or leaves a comment especially all my subscribers. Uh, I just love making content and love quickly popping in, uh, <laughs> making a quick video for you guys and chucking it online. Maybe you just want to have a look what how the ship acts. Um, as usual, I want to give you guys uh, a realistic game. You know, not one of the games where, oh, I got uh, nine kills in her. Um, I just want to give you guys a look at how the, how the ship's going to handle with everyday play and uh, an everyday player <laughs> like myself. I'm definitely not, not a uh, World of Warships Legends master. I love the game, um, but uh, I think I'm a decent decent. But um, I like bringing sort of videos of an of an everyday gamer to you guys, so you can see how the game how the ship is actually really going to behave. Not one of these uh, sort of one in fifty games. Some some people load up. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.